Well, the reason I wanted to call the book Cornflakes with John Lennon is I wanted to show the human side of these recording artists as well as the creative side. And I got to know John fairly well in the 70s when he was living in Los Angeles away from Yoko. Uh, we'd go out to dinner once in a while uh, at a restaurant in Beverly Hills. Then we'd go back to his hotel at the Beverly Wilshire and watch Johnny Carson at night and uh, talk about things. Elvis, he loved talking about Elvis. And then at around midnight, he would call room service and say, hello, would you please send me some cornflakes with cream? So after the second or third time this happened, I said, John, why the cornflakes stuff? And he said, because as a boy in Liverpool, growing up during the war, you couldn't get milk. It was rationed. And so he couldn't have cornflakes, and it was always a treat for him. Even after all these years, that was still his cornflakes. And see, the human side of that is, here's a guy who had everything. He had, you, could, you know, all the women, all the drugs, anything was at his disposal. But this childhood thing of cornflakes still gave him comfort.